Hey kangaroos, today we are going to talk about fluids. Fluids are just liquids. Have you learned about solids, liquids, and gases? Liquids are the runny ones, and every liquid is a fluid. So next time you're thirsty and you want to be fancy, ask your mom if you can have a fluid, like juice or milk or water. Those are all fluids. We're going to talk about some properties of fluids like buoyancy and displacement and density and volume. And we're going to talk about the difference between a mixture and a solution. And we're going to dissolve some sugar in some water to make a sugar water solution. Okay. And since we're talking about liquids, I figured this animal should be a fish. So this is a goby fish. And he lives in the Chesapeake Bay. And you've probably been to the Chesapeake Bay with your family before, right? He lives on the bottom and he has a little suction cup on his bottom that holds him onto rocks so he doesn't get washed away. Pretty cool, right? And everything you eat or drink has to go through your digestive system. And the part of your digestive system we're going to talk about today is your teeth. Those are your teeth. And this is what the inside of your teeth looks like. They have roots that hold them into your gums the same way the roots on trees hold them into the ground. Pretty cool, right? Let's do it. All right, guys, let's talk about some properties of fluids. Fluids are just liquids like water, milk, juice, just liquids. Now, have you ever played sink or float? When you play sink or float, you drop things into water and see, do they sink or do they float? And there are a few things that factor into that. One of those things is the amount of displacement, which is the amount of water that has to move aside for your boat to float. Okay, that is a change in volume and volume is just the amount of liquid that you have. The surface tension can also play a factor and we will look a little more closely at surface tension in a bit when we do our project. And buoyancy. Buoyancy is just the ability of something to float. It's how much water gets displaced based on the amount of weight of the thing you're trying to float. And we are going to make a solution and an emulsion. We're going to do that by mixing liquids together or by mixing a solid like sugar into our water. Okay. A mixture is just when you mix two things together, but a solution is when something completely dissolves in another thing. Dissolve. you can't see the separate parts anymore. Okay? And the things that go into making a solution are the solute, which is the thing that dissolves, and the solvent, which is the thing you're dissolving it into. Easy peasy, right? Now, when we do this at CCBC, we make a huge mess and we have these lovely liquid watercolors and we get them all over the place. But I'm trying to do this in a controlled way in my house. So, we're going to see if this works. Ready? All right. I have here three containers. One, two, three. This one's just in addition, in case it spills over. Um, they have, these two have very different volumes. So if I pour this one into this one, it doesn't fill it up. They have different volumes. Believe it or not, this one and this one, even though they're different shapes, have the same volume. Volume is just the amount of space that your liquid takes up. 
Now the first solution we are going to make is just mix up some watercolors. So I'm going to put a drop of red in here and a drop of blue in here and I'm going to stir it up. Ready? Sing with me. Stir it up, little darling, stir it up, little darling, stir it up, little darling, stir it up. And look at that, red and blue mixed in the water made a purple solution. You guys know I love purple, right? Okay. So there's that. The next solution we are going to make is we are going to dissolve some sugar into some warm water. Ready? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down in a most delightful way. And I don't even have to really stir it much, but let's sing it anyway. Stir it up, little darling, stir it up. And you can't see the sugar anymore. It made a solution. We know it's in there, but it just looks like water. We made a sugar water solution. That has more density than regular water. So if I pour this in here, it should sink. But you can't really see it. Anyway, no big deal. In this one, we are going to make an emulsion. An emulsion is when you mix things up, but they don't really mix. I can make an emulsion with oil and water. And no matter how much I stir it, it might mix in a little bit, but the molecules are still separate. See, it doesn't mix. The water goes to the bottom because it has more density, and the oil floats on the top because it has less density. Now, let's see if we can test displacement. Now, if I take two pieces of tin foil that are the same size, I crumple this one up really, really a lot, so it's super dense, and I drop it in the water. Oh, sugar water, I told you, has a greater density. Look at that. We're learning as we go. This is just plain water. Okay. If I drop it, drop it in this plain water, I don't know if you can see, but it is touching the bottom of the dish. It sunk. Now, if I take my handy dandy piece of tinfoil like this, and I make it into a boat, with a wide bottom, because we know boats float, even though metal is super dense, right? And I set it carefully on the top, it will float on top of the water, because the amount of water that is displaced by the wider bottom makes your boat float. We are going to do a super fun project with displacement. You ready? Let's do it. Okay guys, now comes the fun part. Now we get to make a mess. Now, I'm hoping that I can demonstrate surface tension by putting drops, oh, see, can you even see how that makes a drop and it stays together? 
in my classroom, this is a lot easier because kids can get down on all levels and see how the water doesn't spill over the side of the coin. It makes a dome on top. But I'm not sure that that is really doing a good job of showing it to you. Can you see how the water sits on top of the coin? You might want to retry that with your mom or your dad or a grown up and see if you can make water sit on top of a coin. But we are gonna make some messy art with displacement. You'll need some paints and some little lids. You're just gonna put them on, I'm using watercolor paper. Um, that's gonna give me the best result because it's gonna absorb the liquids, but if you don't have watercolor paper, you don't have to do it on watercolor paper. And then we're gonna just try some different solutions and make them disperse on our paper. Use some different amounts of red. Maybe a bit of blue. Maybe another blue. If we had liquid watercolors, this would really be better. I borrowed one from school, but you really want to get a bunch of different colors just like dripping over the sides. I have this watercolor medium. It's kind of like liquid watercolors. And you're gonna fill your containers or your little lids until they're pretty much full. So, let's see which ones need a little more liquid. That one, that one, and if you make a mess, doesn't matter because it's all going into your art. Now, we are going to drop things in to our containers. And you see how when something sinks into your container, it displaces the liquid and it spills all over your paper. Hmm. I'm doing this in a tray so I don't make a huge mess. You might want to do the same because the whole point of this is that it's going to spill everywhere. There we go. I had to stir those solutions up. Get them to mix up better. I think that container has a hole in it. That's not doing me any favors. That's okay. All right. Let's try that again. Hmm. See how that displaced just by putting my finger in it? I'm not even gonna mess with that one. I'm gonna add some more liquid till it's filled to the top. And drop in the balls to displace the liquid onto your paper. See, when you drop in the ball, how it makes the water spill all over the place, it displaces the liquid. When you put more liquid in, it pushes more liquid out. And then, you just pick up your paper and you've got some fun, messy art. I really wanted to, I could just pour this on here. That would really make 
some fun, messy art. And hey, if you're using marbles like I used, you can even roll them around on there and make some marble art. All right, guys. I hope that was fun for you and that that gave you an idea of what displacement looks like. Hey kangaroos, this is my kitty. He's been crafting with me and he keeps getting in my way while I'm trying to do your wrap up. So I guess he's trying to do our wrap up with us. I don't know. When I let him down, he keeps trying to drink our sugar water solution. I mean, sugar's not so good for you, right? You probably could taste the sugar water solution, but I don't really want my kitty drinking it, so I'm holding him so that he doesn't go drink our sugar water solution while we do our wrap up, all right? Okay, so we talked about fluids. Oh, there he goes. Fluids are just liquids. We talked about some properties of liquids, like density and volume. We talked about displacement, which is the volume of water that moves out of the way when you put something on the top of the water. We talked about buoyancy, which is something's ability to float. And we learned about our digestive system. Your digestive system is the system in your body that helps you process anything you eat or drink. And their animal of the week is the goby fish. This particular goby fish lives in the Chesapeake Bay. And he has a suction cup on his bottom that sticks into the bottom so he can stick to rocks and not get moved away by the currents, not get washed away. An important part of your digestive system is your teeth. These are your teeth. And your teeth, just like plants and trees, have roots that anchor them into your gums. Now, we talked about mixtures and a kind of mixture called a solution and another kind called an emulsion. An emulsion is where the molecules don't mix together so you can still see the separate parts. You can see the oil that's less dense sits on top of the water that's more dense. But a true solution, you can't see the difference between the molecules. It totally mixes up. And I hope you did the project with me and played a little bit with surface tension and uh, with displacement. Displacement, when the water moves aside. And I hope you had fun and I hope that you have artist hands. Hands up if you have artist hands. Hands up, baby, hands up. Give me your heart, give me, give me your heart, give me, give me hands up, baby, hands up. Give me your heart, give me, give me all your love, all your love. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.